Hi everyone, Gerard here, ForexDayTradingRoom.com. Um, today I'm going to discuss trading choppy markets. Like for those of you out there that do want to trade, but yet you just don't see a trend. I mean, what do you do? I mean, ultimately, a very good decision would be not to trade. But sometimes people just want to trade certain markets, a choppy market, and try to find a way to go ahead and make a profit. So. When you're trading a choppy market, step one, you don't want to look at the upper time frames. Okay, you want to go down. This is the daily over here, and this is the euro versus the US dollar. Um, what we want to do is we want to drop down to a lower time frame. So in this case, we're dropping down to the five minute chart. And what we're looking at is just ways to go ahead and grab some pips based upon a choppy market. Do we have a trend? No, we don't. I mean, we have sideways action. We did have a trend on Friday. I mean, market was for the most part moving lower. As you can see, we got above our moving averages and we've been slowly moving up, but not making any headway in the U.S. session here on um, the 15th of uh, May. So as you can see, this is an upper time frame. This is the four hour. We came off of this support level and really we've just progressively made our way higher. But how does that help us with a session where we've just seen this? It doesn't. So what you want to do is you want to go to the lower time frames. Let's say you go to the five minute chart and you want to just really trade off of that. But then that's easier said than done, right? Well, look for supports based on some higher time frames. For example, if we go to the daily chart, we can use the daily chart to find those key levels and then go ahead and trade them off of a lower time frame. So for example, this would be a key level because we have that um, level. Of course, it responded over here and that was the low level of Friday. So we would use something like this as far as um, the um, red indicator here that I have, that ended up being a very good um, uh, level to trade off. Now, as you could see, I was actually waiting for us to come up here and even move it up to this 50 fib on a previous chart. That didn't happen. So um, we came very close to my level here, um, right around that 109. And then we traded off of that just based on news at 8.30 a.m. And here we are just kind of chopping sideways. So <clears throat> just a recommendation from someone who has been trading for quite some time. When you have choppy markets, the rule should be don't trade. But if you are, go to lower time frames, look for key levels and then just trade off of those key levels, okay? So just gonna analyze real quick here. This here was a drop below the um, intraday, intraday low for the US session. Cleaned up some stops, then it popped back up, but it's still consistently looking a little weak. Now that can very much change because we do have Fed speakers, we do have this, depth ceiling news kind of maybe will come out maybe won't come out at any time so there's just hesitation hence the choppy market so again try not to trade the choppy markets if you are drop to a lower time frame and look for some specific areas that are key and trade off of them. I hope this helps to give you some sort of an edge when you are trading choppy markets, okay? Have a good one, everybody.